Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my intros on CapCut, but more detailed. This video is mostly for beginners, but you can still watch it if you want to. Also, comment down the timestamp of this emoji hidden somewhere in this video for a shoutout. Here's today's shoutout. Her channel link is in the description. Now let's start. First, I'm going to find my background. I'm going to search up aesthetic cat, and I'm going to choose one I like. I'm going to make it like a thumbnail template on Pixar. I did, I did a tutorial on that. The link is in the description. I'm going to add it onto Fonto. Press add text, then type your channel name. Then choose your font. I'm going to choose one of my fonts. Let me know if you want a tutorial on how to import fonts onto Fonto. Then I'm going to size it and choose my colors. I'm going to add another text, bracket, spice was bracket. I'm going to choose the shoreline script font. Then I'm going to choose the size and the style. Save the image, then do a follow us and a subscribe. Now find a plain color. I'm going to search up beige since it kind of fits the theme. Now add the beige color, a white stock photo, and all the pictures you did on Fonto onto CapCut. Next, find your audio. I'm going to search up Deja Vu Audio Edit. Add the audio onto CapCut. I'm going to trim the front a bit so it can be shorter. Now I'm going to make the beige and the white 0.5 seconds. Then, I'm going to copy them a few times. Now hold the white and move it to the second part. Do this to everyone. I'm going to trim the audio since it's too long. Next, I'm going to press fade and then make it fade out. Now, I'm going to work on the animation. So for the first one, I'm going to press in. Then I'm going to choose shake one. For the next two, I'm going to do combo animations. Now, I'm going to choose my effects. For the first part, I usually go to mood, then I choose metamorphosis. Then I'm going to extend it to the whole clip. Then I'm going to press object and make it all so it's more visible. For the rest of the clips, I'm going to choose a snow one. Now for the whole thing, I'm going to add one of the recording frames. Save it and you're done. Here is my results.